welcome back to Bill Plays Bass, where I play these things. Uh, today, uh, looking at, uh, I'm not sure if this is the first short scale bass I've owned or not, but it's the only one I own right now. Uh, and this is an Epiphone EB1. So uh, short scale, 30 and a half inch scale, uh, all mahogany, uh, neck, body. Uh, I've heard Grenadillo fretboard, depends on when it was made, I really don't know. You've got kind of this older uh, style bridge. Uh, they make a separate model now called an SG-1. Uh, and I can tell you there must be a big difference because it's advertised as a lightweight. And this thing weighs nine and a half pounds. This is not a lightweight base. It is short, but it is not light. Uh, but anyhow, the SG-1 can easily be identified stock by uh, the knobs. The knobs here are different. So uh, today we're just going to look at this guy. You know, we've got what uh, 20 frets. You've got the uh, the big old you know uh, Jack Bruce pickup. Um, yeah, it's got some you know decent tuners on it. Uh, there we go. I'm well, sorry. So the tuners are you know kind of uh, Fender. There we go. <laughs> uh, tuners are you know kind of Fender looking. I've had no issues with those. And uh, again, this is uh, it's got a very mild cutaway in the back. And it is does have a nice cut here, so you know you've got some arm comfort. Uh, I said again, this thing is just crazy heavy. It's nine and a half pounds for something you know on the short scale, and you know it does uh, does feel small as I play it. It's funny the day I bought this, I did not think it felt that way, and then strangely enough, I just played a medium scale bass right before playing this one. So I was like, oh wow. So you know uh, the things I like uh, about this. I like it for uh, vintage tones. Uh, what you heard at first was with the uh, treble turned all the way down. So I am going to play some more stuff uh, like that. So I like those tones. Uh, I think it's great for you know, muted stuff like uh So you know, uh, I really like that uh, kind of the uh I like that kind of classic stuff, Beatles, etc. But let's uh, let's open up the tone here a bit. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
there's a certain quality that I think uh, most, if not all, short scale basses have that I don't have the ability to articulate what that sound is. Uh, maybe you do. Um, I don't know that saying they sound thinner is accurate or more trebly, but there is uh, a little something to a short scale being different. Um, is it bad? I don't think so. Uh, you know, I uh, I like this bass. I don't think there's any issues, but you know, who gives a crap what I think? What do you think? Uh, sound good to you? You, know, you make the decision. Uh, I'm just here to keep you informed and uh, maybe see what you might like and what you don't like uh, that you've uh, never had the chance to get your hands on. But uh, yeah, I think this is a decent bass. These are around 300 bucks a piece new. I think 289 is a going price. Uh, like I said, these EB ones are on the heavy side, uh, whereas the SG ones are advertised as a lightweight bass. All right. Well, if you like more uh, bass related content, I've got over 100 videos. A lot of them are really good. Uh, I cover not only just uh, basses, bass amps, effects, that sort of things, but also some uh, basic repair stuff, setup stuff, you know, how to make your bass play a little better, sound a little better, uh, etc. So uh, please consider subscribing and hopefully I'll see you next time.